for me everything is related always to the uh, intention yeah so intention is always what it means by intention intention could be different yeah it could be very simple intention is it about speed is about slow is about move is about stay is about jump whatever yes just simple intentions or sometimes the intentions in relation to the picture or the idea or uh, effect we want to create and then all the technical mechanical aspects you know help you to make it bigger more visual more productive more efficient and etc okay so and therefore out of all five dances i think pasto is the uh the only dance which is european the, the dance which you used to be a ballroom dance it used to be a ballroom program uh, and uh, therefore sometimes the research I've done on that dance because the other dances are more rhythmical than the Paso Doble so therefore in that dance in other dances you can substitute the the ideas with the movement uh, with the action with the abilities let's say it like that so in Paso uh, it, of course it have an action but the severity of that action is not that big right it's no, it, there is no yeah a lot in it so what we what is it about actually what do we want to really show right so when i research a little bit about the uh, doble and i created kind of picture for myself an idea for myself for myself so it's more understandable yeah so first of all uh Paso doble is a french dance yes you know that Right, so even some basic figures they still have a French name in our uh, Paso Doble. But at the same time, many people think it's Spain. Why Spain? Because of bullfighting. Okay. Arena. Okay. Yeah. Only bullfights? Yeah. Cape. Well, it's still related to the bullfights, right? And only only bullfights? Flamenco. flamenco. There is flamenco as well. Yeah. So. Uh, and also, I think there is a third uh, the, uh, form uh, of dancing which we use also, we can relate to that and bring into uh, the Paso Doble, it's Argentinian tango. Yeah? So those three forms, bullfight, flamenco, Argentinian tango, this is the uh, characterization or ideas we take for the Paso Doble. For the body positions, for the shapes, for the hands, for the movement, for relation to uh, uh, one another. So this is the characterization we take. Okay, so to use that characterization, so we need to understand actually what is a bullfight, what is about, what is a flamenco, what is Argentinian tango, right? So if you don't know anything about that, of course, then you can't use it on your dancing. Yes? Yeah. Right. So, uh, uh, and of course, uh, I research a lot about all these three forms. There is, we have no time to speak about that. I just give you basic ideas, right? So for me, therefore, if we have a free force we, which can, we can use as characterization, so therefore we also have a three different body positions, right? But for example, the most important in those uh, 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 forms, the ideas, um, it's not about the movement, right? It's about the, the, what is represent itself. Uh, so if we take a bullfight, okay? Do you know where it's appeared, where is, how it's developed, where it's come from? Bullfight yeah, bullfight. No, no idea. Okay, so uh, originally it was pogan uh, ritual, which is, if you imagine Spain and south of France, across the Mediterranean Sea, there is uh, North Africa, right? So in that North Africa, they used to do the pogan ritual and they used to kill the bull in the name of God, which is the name is Allah. Right? So now, for example, when people scream on Arena Ole, this is what it developed to. Yeah? It's actually uh, people now, funny enough, scream Ole and don't understand that actually you praise the Muslim God. Right? So that's an interesting subject. But, so then, of course, through the uh, evolution and uh, it's uh, crossed the, 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 uh, the sea, and it's become actually what we know today as a bullfight, right? So of course the, the man faces the uh, uh, his biggest fear, right? In a, in the face of the bull, and he's killing it. The, it's really gruesome. The the 
the process all, but there is a lot of things we can take for the, uh, our dancing. Like for example, body position, yeah? For, so what is body position for the matador is rep represents? What we're showing? As a matador? Yeah. What the matador shows in his body position? Confidence, confidence yeah. But flamenco also confidence, yeah? Strength. 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 Okay, so w how you can show the strength? Eyebrow. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so the most important for the matador, it's actually he shows domination. Yeah. So you have to dominate the bull, dominate the space, dominate the arena. So he is basically a dominatrix on that arena, right? So actually, which part of the body shows the domination? Hmm? Upper part. Yeah. Chest. Yeah, this is where the domination is, right? And of course, if I just do the bo uh, uh, my chest, if I just do that, <laughs> right? It doesn't look dominative. Why? Because domination is not just a body position, it's state of mind. So therefore, you have to use that imagination to make your body uh, more dominative. And you dominate your partner, you dominate the space, you dominate the movement, you dominate the audience as well. So it's here, right? So of course, you know, when I was a kid as well, my first time I learned Pesadoble, my teacher said to me, hips forward, eyebrow up, go, right? <laughs> so. <clears throat> But what happens actually, if we put sometimes the hips forward, what happens for the man, I look like a question mark now. Yeah, so it, it doesn't look strong, yeah, even if I put an eyebrow, <laughs> right? It looks more like upset, <laughs> right? So what happens, the matador puts the weight, yeah, and if you can try actually, it's mostly for the men, you put the weight, yeah, through the hips, towards the ball of the foot, yeah, and this is actually when the pelvic comes uh, uh, forward, and from there, you develop the chest, right? And treat it as a motion, not as a position. So one once you reach the limit, you go, right? So if I make a step, yeah, transfer the weight, put the weight down towards the uh, ball of the foot through my center of the gravity, and from there I will develop the chest and I go, right? So the body is alive, so I'm not just freezing it, yeah, I'm not holding it. So as I place the weight, drive, open, go. So this part is open, be careful boys actually with the back, so you don't uh, put the shoulders blade together, keep it open, yeah, so that the chest opens and the spine, the, the back is also open, right? So then actually uh, the body have a strength, yep, clear? So again, it's not a position as a, right? It's a motion, clear? Any questions? No, good. So, flamenco, right? 